The phrase itself, the war on women, is now part of the lexicon. Where did this come from? Well, the, um, if you remember back in January, there was a presidential debate among the Republican nom- um, candidates. Mm-hmm. And out of the blue, in a non sequitur, everybody thought it made no sense, George Stephanopoulos asked Mitt Romney if he thought states could ban contraception. Oh, that's right. I and, remember it. And Romney said, what are you talking about? What does this have to do with anything? And he kept pushing. He said, look, we're, we'd rather talk about the economy. What are you talking about? And uh, it was only a few weeks later, everybody started remembering that when this war on women thing came up after the um, mandate that uh, Obama announced that sort of told the Catholic Church that you know they needed to forget about some of their long-held tenets and uh, allow people to buy contraceptives at their hospitals and uh, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. And um, all of a sudden it started to make sense, this, this notion of contraception being a right which, uh, you know, went full bloom with Sandra Fluke's uh, testimony before the fake committee uh, in Congress. It wasn't even a real committee. It was a Democratic sort of Potemkin village. And the press, uh, not only did they engage in starting this thing with Stephanopoulos, because I don't think that was an accident, but they also reported this fake committee hearing where Sandra Fluke testified as testifying for Congress, and it, it wasn't at all. 